Hello guys and gals, me and Mudahar, and tonight we've got a lovely little 4chan story. We've got an image board tale, ladies and gentlemen, coming right at you from B. Now, for those of you who don't know, B is random, the most infamous board on 4chan. You know, there's a bunch of them. I'm usually a fan of X, you know, paranormal, uh, VG video games, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, B is fun to watch here and there, but usually B is just full of phallic objects, and you know what, unless I'm in the mood for that, maybe I'll dive into it. But one of the more interesting things about it was something called Alex from Tennessee. That's a pretty infamous story, and it's actually really easy to find, but I figured I might as well share it with you, kind of that little bardic storytelling experience of a late night, you know, Muda. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Alex from Tennessee case. And you know what? We're going to dive right into this one. So just going to let you know, viewer discretion is kind of advised. We've got some pretty heavy stuff at certain times to sort of show you. Might might kind of leave you a little uneasy, but you know what? Sit back, relax, you know, get, get a nice beverage or something. And let's dive into Alex from Tennessee. So the first thing to go over here, this is from like April 29, 2013. This is like archived that moment in time. So this is actually a lovely, good Imgur uh, save of this. But over here, we've got uh, what appears to be the first actual post. Now this is, buy this rubble, your prize awaits, Tennessee. Park nearby and walk to this point for the secret. It's under plastic at this point, moment in time. Good luck. And then you've got in before dead body. You know, I swear to God, if it's a dragon dildo. Back then, dragon dildos were pretty popular, I would say, but <laughs> whatever, dude. So it actually led to this, like, in a, this little map over here. And that one, I gotta say, was pretty weird to look at the time. As you can see, they got, like, three warehouses over here. And they've got this one point, point, uh, point B that you can go to. Now, if you look to the right over here, it's pretty goddamn decrepit. But let's go down over here. No one shall claim the prize. Time to try other websites. And of course, when you read this kind of stuff, you think, eh, it's probably just some troll out there trying to be an edgelord or something of the sort. And there has been cases of pretty edgy shit on 4chan that happens. But at the same time, that stuff gets pretty infamous. You have to kind of look at this, okay? For every, like, 5% of something good on 4chan, 95% of it can be pretty assed here. So at the same time, you know, this is one of those things where people think, yeah, it's just some troll trying to be edgy. This this little fucking post over here, this this hand or something. Now I can't exactly confirm if this is real or not, but it definitely looks pretty weird at first glance. I mean, just just the just the detail on it is pretty damn good. So it it seems as though, ladies and gentlemen, it escalates the situation. And you've got more postings over here, all the stuff, I am angry, you are not here, all that kind of good stuff. And the more and more people don't respond, the more and more creepy shit like this gets posted. And people start taking note. Then you've got this photo posted, which was the plastic prize. I mean, you look at that one, it's just, you know, a decrepit, little weird, like, just dingy location. And I'm, I'm never, like, comfortable with these kind of locations. It's got, it's given me that weird, tingy smell feeling to it, and I'm not really comfortable on that front. But it's just a garbage bag, you know, whatever's in it. After the last two things we've seen, it's probably something dirty. But hey, you know what? It even escalates further from here. I've had my friend for a long time. I've had my friend along for now. Not what matters today. I need people to come. And then you've got more stuff posted. So these dark, dingy photos of this location. And it is creepy to look at for sure. But again, it gets even deeper than this. So let's go further. Please come. And then I believe what's being given is a number. So 24th, April, 2013. So yeah, that they're posting um, the dates. They're trying to be as thorough and they're trying to give some proof on please come to the location. Singing tonight, someone come. And then you've got what appears to be a dongle of sorts. I believe that's like a pen, like a flashlight, you know, a post-it note. And then the same plastic bag prize. So at this moment in time, you've got everything posted. Alex from Tennessee here writes, I am ad location of creepy guy. Come early. Dark as fuck. Looks like he was growing something. And here you can see Alex pointing and like found a bag. I'm actually scared. Let's go through all of it actually. Inside of door, haven't found friend. Think I beat him there. Found some plastic. Bundle. What? Under plastic? Place is huge. Carved from the dirt, looks like no floor or walls. Smells like food going bad plus cave. Is this a bed? Stolen scrap, can't see and pick, but little vines growing around it. Heard a car, but popped back up and saw nothing. Why all the wiring in a dirt basement? 
heard a rustling, I would say. Could be a worker, a cop, or B-tard, or creep standing ground. It, 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 anytime you read any of the weird 4chan terminology like B-tard, it, it takes you a little... Takes you out of the moment for a second. Found a bag I'm actually scared. Peeking inside seems to be some mummified pelvis and a folded paper plate. Mummified bat or rat and plate. Hard drive inside. Pocketed. Opening. Rest of bag. And the more and more we go down over here, the more and more decrepit stuff this individual seems to find. And then you end up going over here. Do we explore further, Alex? Or do we run back home? What do you think Alex did? Well... Judging by the length of the video, he probably explored a little bit more. And this is where you've got more and more weird shit. So he finds this little stairway leading down to the here. And honestly, if I was in the same situation, I'd be back the fuck out of here. The problem is when you go to these crackhead attractive locations, you're going to get attacked. So don't fuck with that shit. Stay away. Alex from Tennessee wasn't exactly doing anything intelligent here. So he decided to just jump the fuck down here, it seems. And the more and more depraved you go into here the more and more weird shit you find. So these were some of the photos we saw just a little ahead. And you can see that there are, I would say, it, it almost looks like it's fucking food <coughs> of sorts. It seems kind of like a kitchen. It just seems like dishes of like something in there. It's like, yeah, there was obviously something being grown, but what it was, we'll never really figure it out. Here we got like weird stuff in these jars. And then the more and more you go down, it's just, it's a dark, decrepit location. It's like stuff is stuffed into plastic, paper plate in half that says open prize, hide eyes or something, hide yes, maybe, I'm not sure. And then you've got the hard drive that was pocketed, all that good stuff. And the more and more you go down, you'll notice that these paper plates with notes are just spread around. You've got what appears to be soundproofing foam around over here. And the more and more you open over here, okay, shit, opening bag, and it fucking moved. I almost shat bag contained tortured possum, bound up in string, bag inside bag, inside bag. When I got all the bags apart, the fucker darted across dirt prison. Possum was jammed in this foam in a plastic Walmart bag. So now we actually have animal abuse tossed into the situation. Any normal person would probably run the fuck out of here go home, do something else. But of course, given that thread up earlier, Alex not only does that, but goes in a little bit deeper. So you go down even further and then you find like these, uh, you find you find like medic, what is it? Like drug containers, if anything, like drug bottles, pill bottles. And if I can try going into it, the problem is you've got flash photography, which almost ruins any form of legibility reading into it. Um, you've got, I just believe, like, what is this? Olive, table, uh, tablespoon, something like that. 5 mg of Valium. Okay, so that's Valium. Um, yeah, you know, th this is not the kind of stuff that you should normally be sitting around having. I believe Valium is prescription-based, so, yeah, in order to get that, you actually have to get, you know, some form of uh, doctor referrals out of it. And you go down further, you've got these weird, like, body pillows tossed around. And then inside over here... I hear somebody outside driving really slow over the gravel. I think it's time for my date. I'm going to see if there's a second door. Dark as shit. Phone flashlight is shit. What the fuck is this? And honestly, what the fuck is that? It's like a mailbox that contains just like, it, that looks like, that looks like dried fucking like jellyfish almost. Like it's weird. I don't know. Like you got the head, you've got like tentacles going around over here. I don't know if that's like a log of crap, but it's, it's just... It's really dingy to go into. And you've got a mailbox with more dead animal pieces inside it. No other doors, but a crawl space and a window thing. Gonna exit that way. I hear the fucker. So at this moment in time, what's happening is Alex is like live posting this to 4chan. And the issue with this is that at this moment in time, during these postings, whoever is there is arriving. Like whoever's doing all this stuff. And at this moment in time, he's delved himself so far into the situation that trying to escape, you know, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Like this, this is what is the definition of like one of the perfect args right now. Like this is exactly what some of those awesome Twitter args were really all about. So at this point, Alex has to make a rushing escape. Window thing isn't a window. It's some other vent shoe turning around and leaving through shit wood door. Jesus. And this photo was the last photo we got.
because the last thing I ever posted was this. And it's, an, it's a quick summary. Full story. Alex meets weird guy at Walmart. Weird guy asks Alex if he goes on 4chan. Tells Alex to meet him at uh, the exact poster. So that was the, um, that was the address they had up there. At 11 p.m. local. Elizabethan, Tennessee. And that's, of course, midnight. Goes on B. Annans convince him to go. Brings switchblade and baton. The same weird guy is theorized to be the guy who a week ago tried to lure Annans to the same exact spot saying there is a prize waiting for them. Posted pics of what looked like a dead body in a plastic bag. Which, by the way, is a little bit of a hyperbole. I mean, I, it was never given a shape of something in the weird bag. I mean, at the same time, people will do crazy shit for attention and... It is what it is, but that was a little bit hyperbolic just from my end. You've got part two, which is an archive of that 4chan thread. Alex goes there and finds dugout hole with tortured possums, jars filled with random weird shit, which we just saw. Dead animal bits, paper disposable plate with plates a date, a very important mate, you shouldn't have come, I lied. On it as well is a HDD with unidentified content and some pills. Alex goes quiet. The watcher, who was watching the area from a safe distance, disappeared. As far as I know, Alex is killed. Someone claimed to be there, one cop car present, and headed towards warehouse. And that vent photo that we just saw earlier, that was the last, last known correspondence from Alex on that. So as you can imagine, being on the thread, it is weird. Now, me being skeptical, reading that, at first glance, I'm wondering, oh, it's just, it's the original poster trying to, again, continue their edgy arg. Now, does this go anywhere further from this? Well, let's try checking. Now, this is the original thread on Reddit that was linking to this classic 4chan, where you can read a lot of these famous classic 4chan posts. One of the individuals over here actually uh, posted something called UT Knoxville Body Farm, which actually takes you to a uh, situation where you can actually read a bit about a, what a body farm is. A body farm is a research facility where decomposition can be studied in a variety of settings. They were invented by anthropologist Dr. William Bass in 1987 at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, Tennessee, where Dr. Bass was interested in studying the decomposition of human corpses from time of death to the time of decay. So even with that said, what it could be kind of theorized is all of this could have just been an individual. It could have actually been one of these body farms, of so to speak. But again, given the context of what we've seen, it was way too dark. It was way too out there. It has that aura of being incredibly real, which is why this is more impressive than any creepypasta for me, because there is an aspect that this is very real. Was Alex ever found? No, there are no police records that I can dig up of Alex being found. You know, the more and more you look into it, the more and more you begin to realize, yes, he disappeared off of the face of the earth. Whoever was there with him was missing. This location that we're seeing right now, this is all we've got. You can head over there if you want, but I, would I recommend it? Hell no. Nah. Alex could have easily been a the original OP again trying to heighten their arg, but at the same time, a dude went missing, and that was it. Now, was the cop car ever really sent? I tried looking into that, but I can't exactly get a confirmation. I don't believe that event was significant enough to A, make it into the news, or even if you can find some evidence of that cop car being sent. That's usually internal stuff on a police database, so I really wouldn't have any access to that, but at the same time, a dude went missing, um, is that confirmed even? Not really, but at the same time, that last post you saw was it. So does somebody break in, capture the dude, take him on his little date? That's what we have to go on at this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen. That's all that's left. So yeah, it's one of those creepy original 4chan posts where you have one dude attracting people around, taking you out into the middle of nowhere, and hey, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I tell you, life is precious. If anybody baits you to do weird shit like this, don't be doing it. Don't, don't encourage anyone to do it because you just saw the kind of stuff that's happened. Now, the reason why I'm making a video on this specifically is that this is kind of an early primer case. There are other several cases where things get even more weirder, scarier, and downright depraved when it comes to these weird postings on 4chan about this kind of stuff. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a quick little foray into that Alex thread. So, 
What do you think happened to Alex from Tennessee? Was there ever an Alex from Tennessee? Or is this just an actual really awesome arg that happened? And of course, this kind of stuff happens all the time on B, Paranormal, whatever you want to call it. Not just 4chan, 8chan, any kind of chain you can find. Image board culture is perfect for this kind of stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.